What if Michael wants to talk, ask a question for you? What does Michael ask questions? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Far away, guys. No first reaction. Uh, yours, and then and then what you saw from the team when you guys were watching it together too. Oh, excited! You know, it's always an exciting time of the year. Um, our guys were really happy being the number one seed. That's an unbelievable accomplishment. Uh, coach talked to our guys earlier <coughs> today and said, if that happens for us, that means that you're one of the teams that have a chance to cut down nets, and and that's such a great accomplishment for what they did. And, and he, how proud he was of them and, and what we've accomplished. But this is a new season. We got three seasons. You got non-conference season, you got conference season, and then you got post season. And uh, it's one and done time, and you got to lock in. Everybody's got to give five to ten percent more in their focus, their energy, and, and just understanding what we need to do to win. K KJ used the word shocked that, that you didn't get the two and, and go to the Midwest and go to Kansas City potentially. What do you make of that and where you guys fell and going out west if, if it ends up happening that way? Well, well, I don't know if you say fell, you won. You're still a one seed yeah, yeah. fall. But, you know, obviously we would have liked that play uh, in Kansas City if that was the opportunity. But, you know, we're a long way from that. You know, we're going to Des Moines, which we knew we probably would go to Des Moines. And it's a two it's a two game tournament. That's what it is. And so if you don't win a two game tournament, even if we were in the Midwest, you wouldn't be going to Kansas City, you'd be coming home. So we've got to focus on the games at hand. First game is Howard, obviously, and then the, the, you know, if we're fortunate enough to win, then play the winner of uh, Illinois and Arkansas. Yeah, you mentioned Illinois and Arkansas. How do you feel about the strength of this region, just in general? You, you knew the region's very strong, very strong. We, you knew you were going to play a good, really good team in eight nine game, just the way it was setting up throughout the year because there's so many good teams in the country. So we knew we were going to have a battle there no matter what. Every, every one seed is going to have a battle. So, you know, we just got to come focused, ready to play. Both teams are very good. Um, but Howard's a very good team too. We need to put all our focus on Howard. How do you think you'll manage Kevin, and how is he doing as he recovers? Uh, Kevin's doing good. He's feeling a lot better. I think, uh, you know, not playing yesterday helped. He'll get some more rest uh, uh, today, and then hopefully be able to do something maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. And you mentioned Bill. How excited are you to, to get him back? Oh, he, he talked to the guys earlier today, the day, and, and they were so excited to hear his voice. And, you know, he was he was uh, talking and, and getting after it like he normally does and says, guys, I'm back, I'm ready to go, and look forward to, to coaching you guys. And, you know, and then just talked about the things that we need to do to be successful. When do you, when do you expect Coach to be back in the office and back at practice? I think he'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Were you thrilled that he got out today? Yeah. yeah. Of course, it's it, it's awesome, you know. You know, when you don't have your your leader or you know the head of the snake or, or whatever you want to call it, when you don't have him, everybody misses him, and you know he's he's a huge impact not only for our basketball team but for our university. So, I'm glad do you expect that. him to hop on the bus with you guys and all that? We we haven't talked about how he's going to travel yet, but whatever we'll do, we'll make sure he travels the best way he can. You know. Do you think the committee thought about him possibly missing the tournament when they? put Houston ahead of you? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know the reasoning behind it, but, you know, you're going to play a tough haul no matter what region you're in, so you just got to deal with it and fight through. You're about to play Howard. I know you guys stay up all night and all that. Will Coach start preparing too today? Yeah, he's getting stuff right now as we start. <laughs> so, wow. So give us an example. Will you be up all night finding uh, stuff or uh, we'll, we'll probably be here to about 11 so just just watching games and tape and try to watch as much as you can to get familiar each coach will take a different team uh so that we're preparing for this game the next game if we're fortunate enough to win norm are there any advantages to, to i mean if you had won yesterday you might have been the one overall are there any advantages to avoiding that and, and maybe the extra pressure that comes with one overall no, we, <clears throat> when you're at Kansas, um, there's pressure every single time you play. You know, a lot of times people say to us, well, how's the atmosphere at this school or that school? And we'll say it's great because it's sold out and they want to beat us. And so we know that going in. You know that when you come to school year. So there's always pressure to win. And in the NCAA term, pressure's on everybody. It's on everybody. And, and you're also playing champions. 
everybody's playing a team that's a champion. So you got to be ready to play and focus. Do you have any connections with Howard, them being from the East? No, but I do know people that are probably in that league and that type of stuff. Yeah. Forgive, forgive. Coach, I can't tell. You got more gray hair since Wednesday. Or probably. How, how did you do? <laughs> There's no doubt I probably do. And uh, I like to darken up my beard, but everybody says they like the gray. My wife does and I think that's just because it makes me look a lot older than she is so but but uh, 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 no I think it was a uh, it was a great opportunity to coach it was it was uh, it was an honor to, to, to coach um, those guys I thought those guys played their hearts out uh, we didn't play as well as we wanted to yesterday but gave Texas a lot of credit credit they played well uh, they made plays and we didn't uh, we can learn from that get better from that um, and it would be great to have a uh, coach back. Coach, when you talk about pressure and the pressure of being defending national champions, is that adding a good or a bad kind of fire under them, do you think? Uh, I don't know, you know, because we're a different team. They know that what was accomplished last year was with those guys. Uh, it's a whole new uh, situation. So, so I don't think our guys feel pressure that way. I think they just know that it's one and done time and that you've got to be locked in every single game. And I think they're excited. They're excited about it. Coach, just curious, did you listen to the committee chairman's comments after the selections? Actually, I was talking with the team a little bit, so I didn't really hear their comments. Uh, I don't know if you heard them. So uh, I think they, they, they might have, somebody told me something. They said that uh, it's because Houston, even in their losses, they were closer, something like that. Well, so It seemed like he discounted the fact that Houston lost had one of its main players not playing today, but it was almost as that KU's game was thrown aside when you lost, you didn't have one of your starting players yesterday. Did it seem that to you? Yeah, but that, that there, there has to be a reason. And that's a tough deal for the committee. It's never easy. No one's ever gonna be happy. But I would tell you this, at Kansas, we are not gonna be upset about being a one seed in whatever region that is. So we're, 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 we're uh, very happy where we're at, and now we got to focus in and play. The season is such a marathon. Does it seem a long time ago that you were in the secret scrimmage with Illinois? And would you rather them win so you could play them? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say we'd rather anybody win. I think oh, both teams are very good. Both teams have had great seasons. Uh, both teams will uh, present different problems from an athletic standpoint, from a shooting standpoint. They, they all do. So, you know, we just want to focus in on trying to beat Howard and then our next opponent focus on how to beat them. So we, 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 don't, we don't look too far ahead like that. You've got enough guys on this team that were a part of last year, obviously, and, and prepared for the 116 thing. And, you know, in, in 20, you didn't get the chance. In 21, you weren't a one seed. So does that help? That, that there's a few guys floating around that, that understood how to go through that last year a little well, bit? Well, Coach talked to, uh, when he talked to the team, he talked to Dewan, and he talked specifically to Jalen Wilson and, uh, and Jankovic and Kevin, you know, K.J. Adams, and he talked to those guys saying, hey, now you guys know you've been there, done that. You know what it is to be a 1C. You know what it is to be focused. You know what it is to have no distractions. You know, make sure you relay that to the young guys and new guys so they understand. And Kevin, Kevin's been through it. McCullough's, you know, when, you know, he was with that team that went to the Final Four Tech, so he understands. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.